What's up, YouTube? I was going to do a different video. I got ready for a different video earlier, and then I wound up finding some stuff today, so, or finding some stuff today. I think I already have this Mercedes, but if I have two, oh well. It's a pretty dope little car. Especially, in my opinion, by Hot Wheels standards. Found this, which I have the blue one. I have the red one. I found a couple of the red ones when it came out like two years ago. I sold one of them on eBay for $40. I couldn't believe that. That's what they were selling for back then, though. Now you can get them for a buck. I have to say the white one is the nicest color to come out for this car. Let's see if I can do this. This is kind of a, an odd angle that I'm not used to. Very nice detail on this Model S Tesla. A lot of plastic in this casting. But it's a very nice model of, I think, I think they did a really nice job on it, especially at the dollar price point. Um, what else did I get? I found this today at a antique mall. Crack this one open on camera. So this casting just came out in the Best Of series. This is a mainline release from 2009. Same tooling. Pretty awesome looking. Nice little Range Rover. Wow, look at that. That's nicer detail than the best of. You don't get all that on the best of. That's really nice. I like it. <coughs> Alright. Uh, I found this today too. I thought that was kind of cool so I grabbed it. I'm not big on Siku. In fact, I don't like them really at all. But... This one seems scaled pretty appropriate, and it's a van, and it's got a pretty cool DHL license on it. So I don't know what, um, Post wagon, post van. I don't know what make that is. I don't know if that's... It looks almost like a Mercedes Sprinter. But according to the card, it doesn't really look licensed. And none of the card is in English, so I don't know. It just says post wagon, post van... So, I don't know. You guys let me know. <clears throat> is it the Sprinter or is it a Ford? What's the Ford one called? I forget what it's called. It looks like a licensed model, but strange enough, the card doesn't say. Okay, so the last uh, main line before I get into all the premium stuff. Finally found this tonight at the local meet. Paid three dollars for it. Which I'm fine with because I'm sure I'll find these at some point. But so far I've had no luck. I did find the truck. 
This little Dotson is sick. And this is a 1970 Dotson 510 Rally. And it's a much more authentic casting than the Hot Wheels. The scale and the proportions, it's just much more accurate than the Hot Wheels. It's not not all wide. Like the Hot Wheels is way too big. It's way too wide. Uh, this looks much more appropriate. There's your base. So you have some mud up on the hood. Then on the top you have the spare tire with all the luggage, gas can, and not luggage, but whatever your whatever you would use in a rally race, probably maybe some camping equipment, depending on what type of a race it is. I honestly don't know. But it definitely has a cool look to it. You can see it has the little light on the bumper on both sides. The Dido also has that. I don't recall if the M2 has it. But that light is authentic to the actual rally car. So hopefully when the Tomica Limited Vintage comes out. Well, I know the Tomica will have it. The Tomica is going to be the nicest rendition of the 510, I think, probably that ever came out, especially of the rally car. But that thing is awesome. I'm really glad to have that licensed model in my Matchbox collection. And I think at some point in the future, I am going to do a Matchbox mainline licensed model video. But I don't know when that's going to take place. Um, all right, so now we're going to crack some premium stuff. I found this. I've got this saved for another video. I don't buy M2. I don't collect M2. I don't like M2, except the Auto Japan. But I bought this because it's a new tooling, and I wanted to show this against uh, both the green light and the Johnny. Because looking at this in the case, it doesn't look... It doesn't look great to me. And that's not just my disliking of M2. That's not why I'm saying that. I just, I don't know. Well, you know, a lot of times you get them out of the package, they look a lot better. So I will be taking that out of the package and comparing it with some other premium brands. All right, another car that I found today. This Johnny Lightning 67 Toyota 2000 GT. I don't know if you guys have come across these. These uh, Johnny Lightning poker cars. But the cards that come with them are really nice. They feel like Kopegs. I don't know if you guys play any poker, but I I used to play a ton of poker. I love I love Texas Hold'em. Omaha. Uh, these feel like really high quality cards. You can see the you know, Copegs, which are the cards back when I played a lot, those are what I used. They're like about $15 a deck, but they're dishwasher safe and all kinds of crap. And they're really soft, really easy to shuffle. That's what these remind me of. You also get a little Johnny Lightning poker chip. It is not 11 and a half grams like your standard casino chips would be. And then on the hood you have a very subtle ace. I don't know if that's the ace of spades. That would be pretty awesome. The little motorhead reference. But this car does have some really cool de uh, detail. Nevada license plate. You've got the felt interior. That's pretty cool. And it's a really nice color. It's a pretty awesome looking car, I think. 
I think uh, I've seen quite a few of these Johnny Lightning Toyota 2000 GTs, and when I saw this one, it definitely looked to be the nicest of... I like it a lot better than the James Bond release. It just it just looks better to me for some reason. I don't know. But only paid two bucks for that. Shout out to Ed. Uh, another Johnny Lightning that I found. How's that for a price on a White Lightning? I don't know. I don't know if I overpaid. The card is bent, which is probably why it was so cheap. But I don't care about cards. That thing is sweet. It has the typical Johnny Lightning stance issue that you find on quite a few of their models. But other than that, this thing is nice. Really nice detail. Opening hood. Got that big detailed engine in there. They are plastic tires, but that's okay. Uh, this, by the way, is a learning curve. Learning curve era. But another cool white lightning. And where do I want to go next? Let's go to this guy. This was not five bucks. I got this for two dollars because I bought the white lightning for five and I was gonna buy this and I put it back down. He's like, I'll give you both for seven. I was like, okay. And this thing is heavy, man. The top. I think is all plastic but it's so heavy so the base is metal and the truck is metal but the box feels plastic but I'm thinking maybe it's not because it's so heavy but then again the top feels really light so almost looks like it would have uh, opening doors However, they do not open. Atlantic Beach. Awesome Humvee ambulance from Johnny Lightning. Very cool detail. I want to get a Johnny Lightning Rally Hummer too. I've been checking those out a little bit I would like to add that tooling to my collection um, okay now we're gonna get on to some more premium stuff so which one do I want to start with let's start with this one I saw that Johnny was bringing this out and I thought I really have to get it because well it's kind of my namesake and school is now in session <laughs> so this is the new Johnny Lightning Street Freaks Demolition Derby limited to 2500 so from the street freaks you have uh, zingers uh, you have the blacked out cars you have the projects in progress the spoilers and the demolition derby this is the best street freaks release since the relaunch of johnny lightning before it was all uh zingers and spoilers i think and now they've added the demolition derby and the Projects in Progress, which are two of the most popular Johnny Lightning series of all time. The uh, Projects in Progress might be the, mo the single most popular outside of the Dukes of Hazard. So 
This is an awesome casting. It's real heavy. It's the same tooling as the Partridge bus that I have. So I do have this tooling, but I don't have it with this Demolition Derby livery. And also with the name of my channel on it, School of Heavy Metal. All the windows are removed for the carnage of the Demo Derby. Metal body, metal base. You have true dualies in the back. That lighting is terrible. But yeah, this thing is just awesome. The tires are all dusty. I was glad to find this. I was thinking I was going to have to buy this from online. There's still a couple other castings online that I need to get. If any of you have the lead sled, uh, definitely let me know. One thing though, I don't think the Partridge bus is a dually because these things stick out quite a bit. But that is, that's a really cool casting. I like it. All right, this is just another little find. I do enjoy my Black Bandit castings. If I were to have to pick a favorite green light series, um, I think the Black Bandit would be probably on the very short list. I like the Hollywood series just like everybody else, just because of all the cool stuff they bring out. But outside of that, I think it would be Black Bandit. Or all terrain. I like the direction that they're going. <clears throat> if they start lifting some of the other trucks, like the Ram Charger and the C10, I think that that would be really cool. But here is this Black Bandit Jeep Wrangler, number 1985. This is a 1989. Got the all-terrain tires on it. Blacked out wheels. This top does pop off. I'm not going to do it though. It's got a. This one has a really nice seal to it. Sometimes when you pull it off. It doesn't seal back up when you put it back on. But a lot of nice detail. Insert lens, headlights, turning indicators. Nice wipers. Little graphic there on the hood. So that is a cool little Jeep Wrangler. I, I like that one. Nice roller too. All right, a couple more uh, green light cars. I stashed this one at Hobby Lobby, and went, I stashed it like two weeks ago. And then, yes, uh, was it, I think it was yesterday. I went back on my lunch and grabbed it because this is one of the toolings that I collect from Greenlight and this thing is just awesome. STP, this one has the bikini top. I don't know if you'd call that a bikini top but it's definitely a custom rock crawler. You got the STP livery all over it, red, white, and blue with the red wheels with the chrome lip full size spare in the back firestone badging you've got your KC lights on top A little paint chip right there but that's okay And that hood is down. I'm not going to force it. And these lifted Broncos and pretty much anything lifted from green light always rolls really good. 
Just to show you guys though real quick before I do the last car. I brought these out because I was going to do a video when cracking it. But here is my collection of green light Ford Broncos. So this is from a Hollywood film reel, Hot Pursuit. This is from the US Army Diorama, Hot Pursuit. Running on empty, country roads. That was the dad's. I don't know what series that was. It's kind of an older one. That's an early Black Bandit. It's an early country roads. This is an all terrain. Uh, these are obviously not Broncos, but all terrain and I think running on empty. All terrain. I think that was all terrain. This is the Racing Hitch and Tow. Country Roads. That's another diorama. That is a Hollywood release for Zoolander. That is the Gas Monkey. Another Black Bandit. Another all terrain. Another all terrain. That's the new auction block. And that is another all terrain. So you can see all the different toolings that they have. Because, um, you know, they're all like, you know, one with the door, one without the door. And then you've got some like this one here without the tailgate. This one without the door has the tailgate. So there's a lot of different variations of the tooling. And then obviously you have the lifted models and you have the stock models. So that Ford Bronco right there will fit nicely in this collection here. And then on the other side, I have the Jeep Wranglers which I guess since they're out, I'll show them real quick. I just threw a bunch of stuff in here for the move. Just, so I, I have some other Jeeps that aren't in here. I don't think the MacGyver Jeep is in here. But I don't like the Jeeps quite as much as I like the Broncos. Those are pretty cool there. So, anyways, I got one more car to show. This one is dope. I already got it cut open, but. So, when Ron John came out with the, the first one, which was just a, I think it was like a T2 bus. I picked that one up. It was limited to 2,500. There were no green machines produced of that one. But with this release, I think there are a lot more of them produced and there are green machines. Come on, surfboards. These surfboards are so nice looking. Very detailed. Very detailed little Ron John surfboards. What I'm curious to is how they sit. If they just go in the bed like that, or if they go in like that, I really don't know. Anyways, here's the, the truck. This truck is awesome. 
My only, the only thing I would have done different, and actually, I don't know. I was going to say it, I would have done a matte finish, but as I look at this, I don't know. This thing looks really good. It's got a great beat up look. So these uh, Volkswagen, these Ron John Volkswagens can only be purchased at Ron John or purchased on the secondary market. There are no other distributors or retailers that will have these. But uh, yeah, look at the wheels. This is just awesome detail. Metal body, metal base. And this is number 7217. So you can see they made a ton of these. And this has a screwed in base. That is the first time and only time I have ever seen that from Greenlight. So this is an awesome truck. I really like it. Uh, last week or two weeks ago, the guy, or was it? It was three weeks ago, I think I saw him. He was asking $25. And I told him he was smoking crack. And then this week, he's like, $12. And I just shook my head. I'm like, nah. And I kept walking. And then he, he did his hands up like this, 10. I'm like, okay, I'll take it for 10. So I don't know how the surfboards go in there. Um, it would be cool if, they, if there was a rack on top. That would be awesome if there was a little rack on top. But I think the best way that they seem to fit is just like this in the bed. So that's really cool. That'll go real nice with the uh, original one that I have, which I still think the original one is the nicest. It's got a killer paint job on it. And it, it's real limited at 2500 It's a pretty tough one to to find but this one is still really cool so not a bad haul I got some stuff to put away I'm creeping on a half hour before I wrap this video up I do want to show you guys the latest green machine acquisition that will be cracked on video very very soon this thing is so dope check this out So, oh, the lighting is just horrible. From Greenlight Muscle Series 19. It's the 1973 Ford Falcon XB. It's basically the uh, V8 inter Interceptor. It's got all of the Mad Max modifications, just not the paint job. And the non-green machine is white. They should have made it yellow. They should have made it the pursuit car. That would have been killer. But the lighting is so terrible. This, this car, I'm telling you guys, this thing is awesome. It's so awesome looking in person. Uh, maybe that's a little better. So, anyways, that's gonna wrap up my video I'll just do a quick little glance at everything take some of these older ones off I'm really digging the heavy metal school bus I like that one a lot I'm glad I got it And then some of these other cars are pretty pretty cool too. Decent little pickups. So finally got the uh, Matchbox Dotson. Finally added a Hummer Ambulance. 
And just some other cool stuff. Finally got my namesake. I also wanted to apologize. I, I planned on making a diorama video today to show you guys how to do it. Um, it's been a crazy couple of days. I had some stuff happen last night and um, I just wasn't able to do it today. But I still plan on doing that at some point. So anyways, thank you everybody for checking it out. Mm. Stay tuned because we're going to crack this open and compare it to the green light and we're going to crack this one open so I will holler at the next video